go. Time for head on collision number one. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another GTA 5 Will It Survive video. In this video I'm doing a couple things differently. First off, uh, unlike my other videos where I would play in uh, I would be in story mode. I'm actually doing this one in the online. And in today's video, the other thing I'm doing differently is I will be testing whether or not the Duke of Death can survive a head-on collision with the train. Now, I don't predict it, I don't see it surviving, but I know that train's coming right now, but I'd rather make this a little bit more fun. So, we will let the train pass for now. We'll jump in our vehicle and we will go hunt down the train as it goes and attempt to collide with it head on. This off first. Alright. So, since the train is heading that way, we'll go this way and attempt to meet up with it or one of the other trains around Los Santos. Lane County area and attempt to smash the Duco Death into it on a head-on collision. Do I... again I don't believe this vehicle will survive but it's taken falls down mount, down cliffs to a point. I've never dropped it down Mount Chile has so we might also attempt that in this video to see if we can survive it fall down Mount Chilead. Um, so, yeah. I know in my last video I said I would do a will it survive involving planes, but oh no, no, no! Dang it. Okay. Not a problem. We can get back up. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, I know I said I would do a Will It Survive deal involving planes, but honestly, I really don't have any idea how I would test that. So, if you have some ideas, you can leave them in the comment section down below, and I will do a couple of them. And here we go. Time for head-on collision number one. And that's a no. I, I didn't really think it would survive. <laughs> to be honest. So, yeah. Duke of Death first train. Head-on collision. No go. Train wins. <laughs> now. I know the whole... I said this would be a... Hello? Will it survive this against the train? But we've already we that. tested that. So, now we are going to attempt to get it to go up Mount Ch or see if it'll survive a fall off Mount Chiliad. So, I think the easiest way this is going to work since I am in solo play, thus cannot use any CEO abilities, which means no helicopter, unfortunately. Hello, you're through we with will Pegasus Lifestyle see if Management. We can How can I help? Get her. Great. The aircraft is waiting for you at our nearest airfield. We trust you'll be happy, sir. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to call in the car. We get to the airfield to fly the dodo on. Over Mount Chiliad, so that we jump wheels? out and I can bring them around. I'll bring it by. Nah, get her, and then we'll call her Duke of Death up there, and go from there. So, give me a little bit to get to the airfield to get the plane, and I'll be back shortly. Alright, and I'm back. Sorry it took so long. 
Uh, got up here initially with the plane, but then I couldn't get the got my mechanic to bring me in my vehicle. So, after falling down the mountain myself, I finally managed to get a hold of my car and get it back up here. As you can see, there's some bullet holes because I did. I ended up running into a gang of bikers, and they decided to start shooting me. You might notice also that on the front of the car, there's some blood. I, of course, returned the favor by running them over. <laughs> okay, so, anyways, without further ado, we'll find us a good spot to go, and we will see how well this survives going down Mount Chiliad. So, and we're going to do it in person, first person view for the awesome rolling effects. But we will also turn on cinematic mode so that way you can still see what happens outside the vehicle. So anyways, in 3, 2, 1, off, off we go. <laughs> we're spinning! Yeah! Are we gonna blow up? No? Okay. So far, so good. Uh, now we're falling. I haven't blown up yet. Ooh, ow. Hit a rock. And we're tumbling, tumbling. Okay. It appears we've. Skyground, Skyground. Not a whole lot of screaming though. Ow. Alright. Yeah, well, we managed to make it down Mount Chiliad. We'll find us a nice little spot somewhere. Train almost took us out again. The Revenge of the Train, Part Two. <laughs> yeah, so we'll go find us a nice little little spot over here and take a look and see what damage we had besides the gunshot wounds. All right, so we lost the hood. We lost the one hole driver's side fender. We lost the passenger side fender, front fender I should say. Still have all the doors intact, have the trunk intact. The back passenger and driver's side fenders are there. Bumper's still there, still drivable. So unless you are crashing this into a train, the Duke of Death is pretty good at, uh, Surviving a fall off a cliff from the top of Mount Chiliad. Of course, the front wind, the front headlights don't work. The top ones do still, which is amazing. And we are puffing out some black smoke, but you know, that's just from the falls and the gunshots and everything else. But overall. Unless you didn't decide to try to take on a train head on, this machine, this car is actually a pretty decent one. So I think we'll probably finish this off. The only way I know how. We will attempt to take it. We will attempt. Let's see if it can survive. 
head-on collision with Tran again. And I know what you're thinking. Well, you just showed in the first time he did it that it wouldn't survive. But anybody that's ever done an experiment knows that unless you can replicate the results, you don't have a definitive concept, a proof of concept. So, with that in mind, we're gonna attempt a head-on collision this car with the train yet again. Again, if you have any ideas on how I could do a survive, will this survive deal with a plane, please leave them in your suggestions in the comment section below. If you do like this video and you'd like to see me test the durability of the Duke of Death in more situations, please uh, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell, that uh, way you can continue getting uh, uh, updates to when I release videos. Follow me on Facebook. And, and again, as proven before, Duke of Death cannot survive a head on collision. And, anyways, I've been John XIB and I hope to catch you all next time. Thank you, and goodbye.